G'day guys and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a very different video. Uh, I love doing basically tipping videos, so for me to come out with this, I'm really excited. Tomorrow night, the 12th of February, will be the uh, Rugby League Rivals All-Stars Fight Night. There's some big matches to get through. We've got five matches and then a main event, so six fights in total to get through. Um, one of these fights includes Josh Papali, who joined the channel for Let's Talk Footy this week, and I'll leave a comment. Uh, sorry, I'll leave a link in the description to that. And I'll also leave a link to myself and BKR Sport over on his channel. We ranked NRL centers. But in this video, you're going to see my tips. I'm going to speak a little bit about the analysis of the fights and uh, who I think will win, who's got the better of who. And uh, yeah, let's get straight into it because I am very excited for tomorrow night's fight. <laughs> So in the first fight, the, the opener at 7pm tomorrow night, it is on main event, so I believe it's only on main event, I think, as well. I don't think there's anywhere else you can unfortunately watch the fight. Maybe people on social media... Uh, your Twitch, your Facebook will put it out there, but that's up to them. Their account can get banned. Um, I personally won't be streaming the fights. I believe at the moment BKR Sport is uh, potentially doing it if he's not doing the Curios and I think Dominic Time um, tennis match. So potentially that could be somewhere to watch a reaction there. But the first fight is Todd Carney, who obviously played with the Sydney Roosters. Up against Scott Prince, who's played with the Gold Coast Titans and the West Tigers. In my opinion for this fight, I think it's a really good opener. I think it's two fantastic fit individuals, and I feel like it'll be very close. Who I'd like to see it? I'd like to see Scott Prince win this fight. I think that Scott Prince can get that edge over Todd Carney. However, that's not my tip. My tip is Todd Carney. I feel like Todd Carney's going to put a little bit of a shock upset here. I think that Scott Prince will be, uh, in, in, I guess, betting considered as a favourite. And I feel like Tom, Todd Carney will be that underdog. Kind of close, maybe a 40 cent difference or something like that. But I feel like Todd Carney will win on points. I don't think that either of these players will get knocked out. I think they're both really fit. It'll be a good fight, close but in regards to points and sticking in there a little bit, I can just see Todd getting the job done, even though I personally would like to see Scott Prince get up in the first fight. The second fight on this fight card is Craig Gower, who played with the Penrith Panthers up against Matty Bowen, who played with the North Queensland Cowboys. I'm not too sure of the, the weight in, in regards to these players, as it's been a long time since they played. I haven't really seen them train um, this week. So I'm sure I'm sure there's like a... I know that Junior Paulo, spoiler alert, if you didn't know who was fighting, as well as Josh Papali are in like a hotel place uh, together. But I'm not sure if everyone is allowed with the whole pandemic situation going on. Um, I feel like Matty Bowen will win this. I feel like he's just got a little bit over Craig, a little bit more strength about him. I feel like strength will be big in this fight rather than skill. I feel like Matty Bowen's strength will just be able to um, win this one. I don't... I could see Matty Bowen winning on a technical knockout. I feel like he won't physically knock Craig out, but Craig will be at the point where he is on the ground and Matty Bowen is just throwing those shots and got him, has won this fight, and it's declared as a technical knockout win uh, by Matty Bowen. Uh, the next fight is a fantastic one. I'm looking forward to this one. It is Shandor Earl, who uh, previously was on the channel. Uh, make sure you check out that video as well. Up against Justin Hodges, former Brisbane Bronco. Yeah, this is a, a bit of a tough one as well. Um, I, I can't go past Shandor. I think Shandor has been, even though he hasn't played rugby league, he's still keeping himself fit. He's still regularly at the gym. He's very heavily involved with, I uh, forget the name of the gym, uh, but you, you see posts at the gym from him every day. Justin Hodges, on the other hand, I'm not too sure. I think he was doing some commentating at one point. He's probably been well prepared for the fight. I just feel like Shandor will get it. 
In regards to knock out of points, I'm I'm going to say Hodges will stick it. So I'm going to say that Shandor wins this one on points, but Shandor Earl is going to win fight three against Justin Hodges in a close one. Shandor gets the job done there. Next one is a cracking fight. Fight number four is Willie Mason, Canterbury Bulldogs and uh, Sydney Roosters, former player, up against Sam Thido, who played for the Brisbane Broncos. Now, I had a quick look at, at the betting odds, but you can't actually put a multi together, so there's not much to bet on on this fight. And I'm surprised that both of these players are around that $1.80. I was really shocked that they're both the same. Because I think one of these players is going to get the other one. And I think that Willie Mason is going to knock Sam Thorde out. I think it's going to be a technical knockout. I don't feel like there'll be a physical knockout in any of these fights. But I argue that Willie Mason is is a favourite over Sam Thorde. Sam Thorde has really only come off rugby league in the last two years. Willie Mason, he's been... Again, training, keeping activities about himself. Um, and he looks well prepared for this fight. He looks really keen for it. And I feel like fight number four will go in the way of Willie Mason, even though um, I give Sam Thide a chance. I give him a chance. And I can understand to an extent why it's an even money fight. But I just feel like Willie Mason's got a little bit of an edge over Sam. So Willie Mason to win again on a technical knockout there. The next fight is a cracker. We've got Junior Paulo up against Neville Costigan. Now, Neville Costigan, I don't believe... No, he did play rugby league. I, uh... Oh, man, I can't remember the name. So, between the 2000s and 2010s... I'm, I'm just having a blank right now. I don't know why. Uh, but Neville Costigan did play rugby league. Junior Paulo, obviously, still currently in the league. Uh, he's a big boy. He has definitely put on some weight in, in a good sense. Um, in the off-season, he looks really fit. I can't see him losing this fight. And I feel like he his strength... I'm going to look up what Neville Costigan looks like completely to see how even it is. But... So he's a big boy too. He's a big boy too. Um... Yeah, I think Junior wins this. I've got to back my para boy. Uh, I'm going Junior Paulo by a technical knockout here. You know what? I'm going to say Junior Paulo could win this with a knockout. I think that he's so fit that he could just keep fighting and win it with a proper knockout. So there you go. I'm going to say Junior Paulo knocks you out, Neville. Uh, Neville aren't, is not able to keep up with Junior. I feel like if anyone out of these whole six fights is going to put in a massive performance. It's going to be uh, Junior Paulo, and that's not biased Parramatta speaking. That is the strength, the fitness, even not the speed, but the skill, uh, the ducking. I feel like I can see a lot, a long fight, and Junior Paulo sticking in there for a few rounds. And the final fight, make sure you do check out Let's Talk Footy. Latest episode, Josh Papali. Fantastic chat and guest there. Check that one out in the description. Josh Papali taking on Ben Hannett. How good would it have been to see Josh Papali up against Nelson Asafa Solomona? But unfortunately, that is not the case. We get a fight against Ben Hannett. And I feel like Josh Papali will win this. I reckon it will be a lot closer than people think. I do not doubt the talent of Ben Hannett at all. And I feel like Josh will win, but I feel like it won't be an easy win. I just think he'll scrape home on points. I don't think it'll be a knockout, technical knockout situation, but Papali will beat Ben Hannett in my opinion. As I said, I think Hannett could, I don't, I, I, I can't see him winning, but I can see him really sticking in there all the way until the end, the fight going the distance and going in the way of Josh Papali in the final one. So those are my tips. I'm going to go with Todd Carney. I'm going to go with Matty Bowen, Shandor Earl, Willie Mason, Junior Paulo, 
and Josh Papali. Let me know your tips in the comments. Make sure you do like this video, subscribe to the channel. I'm putting out my season reviews soon. On Tuesday at 7 p.m., you will get to watch Let's Talk Footy next episode, which has been filmed with Clarkie's Rugby League column. So really excited to get that one out. I'm also working on um, some Would You Rather videos. If you don't follow me on Instagram at The Entertain House, I do kind of post these Would You Rather situations, which I think will be fun. And guys, big announcement now. This weekend, I will be dropping my NRL 2021 season preview as a little Valentine's love gift to you all. I'm pumped to do it. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Comment your tips below and check out those links in the description. Thanks, guys.